I think it's really cool because, I mean, this is my first, like, full year of track. I mean, I didn't do track for the past three years, so to be able to just um, go out, you know, basically my first year and get that is pretty cool. The big thing with her is that Friday was the first time she ever three-stepped. Um, you know, we've been working on it a little bit, but not a ton of time um, with that because she was injured earlier in the season. Um, so we've just kind of been getting there. Um, she's always been fast enough and, and clean over the hurdles. So, you know, her obviously her strength um, is a big key for her and being able to do that. I think I was just able to get the form down like in eighth grade and then I was able to just really just kill it. And that's just really been my thing. Her school record shattering 100 meter performance last Friday in route to a West Central Conference title underscores that Shannon O'Neill has clearly found her competitive niche. And she's clearly riding a crest of momentum into sectionals as such. But it would be remiss not crediting the crossover boost Shannon's newest hobby has lent her track pursuits. That being competitive bodybuilding. This was about two years ago. I was at the Croc Center one day and like I, I really just liked keeping my body in shape and I saw these people and they were just like talking and they said that they were competing and I had no idea what they're talking about. And I went over and I just started talking with them and they like kind of introduced me to everything and I just I was like, this is my thing. I want to do this. Her, her strength, especially in the 300s, um, until this year, this is the first time she ever ever ran the 300 hurdles. You know, the first time out, she was within a second and a half of our school record. So, um, you know, her natural strength is something in the 300s, especially that, that gets her through the end of the race where a lot of people are tying up and smacking hurdles. Um, and she tends to, to still be clean and, and that makes up for a lot. I, I mean, I've always been really active. Like I did gymnastics when I was younger and that's really about like your body and keeping it pretty healthy. So, I mean, I kind of had that foundation when I was young and I was just able to carry that onto this. With her first contest now officially under her belt. It was really, it was really rewarding because I was able to um, like show everybody what I've been working for. I mean, it's not like track where the hard work is like actually the meat. It, I mean, all the hard work is leading up to that and then that day is just like fun. So it was really nice to just be able to have fun that day. What was the hardest part of that, the diet? Um, definitely that peak week, that week before, was definitely the hardest because I was running track and I was having to run on basically no carbs and it was just, it was rough. But in point of fact, Shannon's sharply sculpted time management skills might be her best muscle group here as she is also heavily involved in cheerleading, golf, and still boasts one of the highest GPAs in her senior class at Liberty. I've been on the Science Olympiad team and like quiz bowl and everything, so I'm, yeah. I think I, I just have a really good like planner. Like I just keep everything in a planner and I'm able to work everything out in my schedule. So not surprisingly, Miss O'Neill's focused ability to chase the things she wants in this world have already netted her a game plan beyond high school. So I actually have a full ride leadership scholarship to Culver Stockton. Awesome. So um, I'm going to be going there and I'll be cheerleading there and possibly golf or track.